What's up guys, main man Sui here, Engage, engaging the YouTube voice, the voice that just distracts you from whatever you're doing. As soon as you hear this voice, homework aside, job aside, wife aside, well I mean okay you don't have a wife, you're 13 years old if you're watching this from YouTube, uh, you're, you're soda aside, you're Mountain Dew just aside, this voice comes on and you have to listen to it. I'm doing a video on Jack, but before that, I'm just gonna remind you guys, sellout mode. My t-shirts are out now. Volcano Masku is this one. They are amazing. Link below. Order away. Preferably not with mom's credit card. And remember, the generous offer, offer stands. If you order for $3,000, no charge, I include a 20-minute coaching session on Skype. If you order for $4,000, you'll even get my autograph. Uh, so for today's video, uh, we're doing Jack. Is he a hard character or is he an easy character? A lot of people like to say that he's a skanky bastard. And he is kind of a skanky bastard. But it's very interesting with Jack. He has this reputation of being really boring, which he is. I mean, who wants to see another Evo or big tournament with this guy? I mean, we're all pretty much fed up with that. Damn you, Jack. Well, I mean, Jack Dragonov. But I, I just want to say that there's more to the character. You, can't, you cannot simply say that he's a brain-dead robot. You can say that he's a brain-dead robot with a couple of problems. So, let's just start right away with what makes Jack so easy. And it's like most easy characters. Let's say Noctis and Katarina. Can you play them with two moves? Well, yes you can, sir! Use two moves, fire away, don't need a whole lot of movement because the range is so good. Who needs spacing anyway? Same thing with Jack. You can use just a couple of moves. Ford Ford 1 was nerfed for Season 2, but it's still one hell of a move. And, well, that's your mid. If you want to play Jack with only one mid, let's say you use several highs, you know, like his jab, uh, whatever. This could be your only mid. You could probably do well if you have fundamentals, like movement and whiff punishing. Ford Ford 1 is a crazy move. How do you do Megaton Upper? It's been a while. I mean, I only play cool characters these days, like Noctis. Okay, whatever. We'll leave We'll leave that for Anakin. But uh, we, we get a guaranteed follow-up after Ford Ford 1. It does a lot of damage. It's an incredible mid. It's got range. It's great on block. You know, knocks down a normal hit for follow-up. Almost a perfect mid for what it does. And then you have down for two, which hits from across the stage. It's easier to punish in season two, but you know, if you play in green ranks, let's say you do, and you stand a couple of feet away and you do this, there's a good chance your opponent is just simply going to run into this because the range is just enormous. So this is a popular playstyle with Jack, with people who want to rack up easy wins in lower ranks. Back away, down forward 2, forward 1 plus 2, forward forward 1 plus 2, forward forward 1. A couple of moves, highly effective. I've never spent any time with Jack, really, but anyone can pick Jack up, I feel, if you have fundamentals. He's a very popular sub-character. I mean, I have a what say to you, Jack, and I don't play Jack. Uh, so, I, I'm, I'm really yapping away here, but what I'm trying to get at is, is that all easy characters are characters that, that can be played high risk, high reward, and with very few moves. Um, because at lower ranks, people don't really punish. So down for two, it's minus 14, but you will very rarely see it punished properly, and especially due to its range. And uh, same thing with, uh, for example, this, which is launch punishable in lower ranks, very rarely people punish it properly. And Jack has access to one of the cheesiest lows in the game, full crouch, down back one. 
incredible frames on hit. You can see King stagger like, uh, because it's like plus, is it plus six? You, no, plus eight. It used to be plus eight, I think, or plus seven. Uh, anyway, it's got incredible frames. It's unseeable, super fast, good range. It's uh, so again, I just want to stress, and, and this is only minus 12. Or is it minus 11? He has a down back one version that's done from standing. That's minus 12, I think. Yeah, it's plus 6. Uh, Ma Moss Wine Eater, thank you so much for subbing, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, Hampton, what do you mean with plus one? Oh, you're kidding, it's safe. Uh, okay. I mix these two together. Uh, down back one is minus 12. Full crouch down back one is fucking safe. I didn't know that. I thought it was minus 11. Um, so, yes. Uh, okay, so that just uh, makes my point clearer then. So this is plus 6 on hit, and it's safe. It's minus 9. <sighs> so, again, like, Ford Ford 1 is safe, this is safe. So, that's an incredibly strong 50-50. So, what you've heard so far about the range uh, and his 50-50, his tools, uh, he's got great poking, like while standing 4, down forward 4, back 2. Uh, he's got great shit. His, his combos are completely brain dead. Uh, there's no execution. And humongous damage. So, I just wanted to stress all of this and then get to why he's not as brain dead as you think or as dumb. He has all of that, but the problem with Jack is that if he is pressured, he is pressured. He can pressure other people extremely well. I mean, we've all had an, ag an aggressive Jack on us. Do you know how annoying that is? But if you pressure Jack, he has no panic moves. Literally no panic moves to try and get out of your pressure. He can forward two, but that's a high. He does not have a Devil Jin up four. Or a Lily Matterhorn, you know, to launch you. Uh, and couple that, combine it with his enormous hitbox. His huge frame. And the fact that makes it impossible for him to sidestep almost. His sidestep is terrible because he is so wide. So, he has the amazing mix-ups here. Amazing and brain-dead combos, huge damage, great moves, great pressure. But he's so sensitive to pressure. And I've had friends who've picked up Jack because they've said he's so brain-dead. Everyone has a pocket Jack. I'm gonna play Jack and I'm just gonna get an... He was stuck in green ranks. He was like, I'm gonna get an easy yellow rank. But, and so he fought. But then when he played, oh my, he got steamrolled. Because what happens in green ranks? Ah! You have a law in your face like this. You have a Katarina in your face. They just pitbull you. And he was locked down in a block because he couldn't step. He had no panic moves outside of forward two. So that's why you need great fundamentals to play Jack, because you'll be using a backdash to, to get away from your opponent, rather than sidestepping. And you'll need the character knowledge, because when they are in your face, you'll have to know when to duck and while standing 1, and when to 2-1, and when to punish with down forward 2. So Jack, yeah, you can say he's super easy. It's true, in some ways, he is super easy, and his throw game, but uh, in a couple of ways, defensively, he's a complicated character to play, very complicated, and demands strong fundamentals. So yeah, I just wanted to talk briefly about Jack, I hope you learned something listening to this. Cheerio!